Last night, my family gathered for our usual Sunday dinner, which is typically just an excuse for my aunt to show off her new casserole recipes and for my uncle to fall asleep in the recliner by 8 p.m. But this time, my cousin Mike was bringing his new girlfriend, which had everyone whispering about whether she'd be nice enough to survive grandma's third degree. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary, until Mike introduced her as, my better half, which got some polite laughs, and a more enthusiastic one from grandma, who's always looking for a reason to use her welcome to the family. Mug. As we settled in, Mike's girlfriend, Sophie, mentioned she was a math major. That seemed harmless enough, but she had this sparkle in her eye that suggested she was about to drop some serious algebra on us. Sure enough, when we started dividing up slices of lasagna, she insisted on optimizing the distribution. Suddenly, the table devolved into a heated debate on the merits of equal versus proportional slices based on age, height, and emotional investment in garlic bread. By the time we got to dessert, she had drawn a pie chart, literally, on the lemon meringue pie. My dad, never one to back down from a challenge, tried to make a joke about finding the lowest common denominator, but Sophie just nodded thoughtfully and asked which family member we'd be reducing first. Meanwhile, my little brother, sensing a new authority figure, started asking her to solve his math homework right there at the table. The rest of us just sat back and watched as the conversation spiraled from fractions to complex numbers to whether infinity slices was a viable dessert strategy. By the end of the night, we were all referring to ourselves as one-fourth of the Smiths and arguing over whether Uncle Bob counted as a whole or a recurring decimal. So thanks to Mike and his math-loving better half, our family dinner table has officially become an improper fraction, and honestly, I'm not sure if I'm hungry, or just divided.